Hey guys, Chad here from Take It or Leave It, here with a quick movie recommendation for you for a film called Old Flame. Here's the synopsis. A college reunion spirals into violence when two former lovers reconnect and rediscover a dangerous secret. Okay, so let's get right on into this thing. Why do I think you should consider putting this on your watch list? Well, first of all, this is a genre hopping roller coaster that constantly kept me guessing where it was going next. The film starts off like a lifetime romantic comedy and it it closes out in territory more akin to a horror movie. No joke, I actually started the film and I got about 30 minutes into it and I was like, dude, is this the right movie? This just doesn't seem like the right movie. And then things changed and the film took a turn into darker territory and it kept on that path for the rest of the film. And while the film continually surprised me and kept me at the edge of my seat, most importantly, the narrative progression and evolution was organic and natural, which brings me to my second reason for recommending this film, which is Christopher Denham. You might recognize this guy from his past performances more than anything else. Yeah, that guy. He wrote and directed this film, and I must say, he constructed an incredibly thoughtful and calculated and deliberate narrative that unfolds more so like a stage play that was made up of uncomfortably realistic and yet exquisite dialogue, while also providing immaculate and textbook direction. I can't emphasize that last point enough, so apologies for the sports reference, but you know the give and go in basketball? It's one of the oldest and most bread and butter and textbook plays in the sport. And when the basics and fundamentals of the sport are executed perfectly while running this play, it's like watching the purest form of basketball as it was meant to be played. I felt the same kind of glee I get from watching a perfectly executed give and go as I did watching Denim's cinematography. It's simple, no frills, but it's crisp, functional, and purpose-driven cinematography. It's truly the cinematic equivalent of a proper give-and-go. And to see that kind of work unfold, it really excites me about a director who does that, and I can't wait to see what Christopher does in the future. In directing, not, not basketball. You, you knew that. But anyway, lastly, third reason for why I recommend this film, the performances from Rebecca Rebecca Robles and Andy Gershenson are incredibly convincing and believable despite the contrasting genre fluctuations. I mean this in all seriousness. Had I seen the first act of this film a year ago and then the third act today, I would not have realized that these were two acts of the same film. I repeat, same two actors, same two characters, same wardrobes, same hotel setting, only hours apart, and yet I would have guessed the first act and the third act came from two different movies. Like, what? What? That makes no sense. That's the trajectory of this film, and it's only possible because of the performances. The narrative journey brings our characters from act one to a dramatically different place and feeling in act three. And that's incredibly risky and could be easily fumbled with unconvincing performances. But not only do the performances not detract from the impact of the changing genres and twists and turns, the performances are so credible and persuasive that they actually enhance and bolster this shifting narrative. Now, a couple words of caution. This movie could be triggering as it involves a four-letter R word, so be warned that if this topic is triggering for you, that you may want to tread carefully with this film. For anyone else, though, that this might not apply to, I implore you to see this movie. It definitely made an impact on me, and I also just found it riveting. This film definitely has elements of sanctuary, Carnage, Mass, 2011's The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and Kill List, in particular regarding the genre hopping from act to act. But those are just my thoughts, take it or leave it. What do you guys think? Have you heard of this film? Have you seen it yet? Let me know down in the comments section. Let's talk about it. And guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'm Chad from Take It or Leave It, and I'll check you later. Check you later, check you later. <laughs> Hey man, you off my case. Oh man. I just don't wanna hear that shit. <laughs>